Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these blue arrangements inspired by Pantone Color of the Year 2020. So in this episode, I'm going to use the Pantone color blues that is now the in thing. And blue is a color that actually is a very calming color and is in use in interiors a lot. Unfortunately, in nature, we don't have a lot of blue flowers. God didn't make them for us. But whatever I was able to find, and even if it's tinted, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna use today. Um, we've got these white roses um, that are tinted and dyed blue. We have a blue thistle, which has kind of a gray tone to it. These are blackberries. I don't know the name of it, but I will have it on, on the screen for you. I have some blue hyacinth and uh, blue hydrangeas. And uh, I've got some blue accessories and containers that I'm using for the video. I've got two containers. One I'm gonna make out of uh, taping and putting water in it. And the other one, because it's a ceramic container and it's kind of a low bowl, I'm gonna use a, a foam, a floral foam that's already pre-soaked. And I also have this plant, I forgot to tell you. But this is a plant that I found um, in the floral market this morning and I thought, you know, they're not cut, but I can definitely use them in uh, the container that I have. First, I have to take this tape. And the first thing that I do is I go around the lip of the container, like this. You can take a scissor or you can use your fingers. And I'm going to make a grid. And I'm gonna go back one more time to secure what I, and the only reason I'm doing the lip first, the grid is not going to slip off the glass. So this way it's safe. So you see this? It's not perfect, but it's gonna do the job. Then I'm gonna go back and fill it with fresh water, and usually I like to fill it about three quarters full. Lovely, so that's about three quarters. You can use a floral preservative if you want. I'm gonna take my hydrangeas because they're the fluffiest and fullest. And I've already pre-soaked this, the heads in water for about 15 minutes so it can be fresh. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting at an angle, and I'm gonna start with the parameter probably going to need probably about four or five hydrangeas. Now hydrangeas come in many different colors, white being the most popular and in abundance. And hydrangeas love a lot of water and they love a lot of attention. I've already created my base, now I can go in with my details. Now there are flowers that um, in foam, like a hyacinth, because it has, the stem is a little, it's a bulb flower, it's very hard to use this in a floral foam. I tend to like to use it in water. I'm gonna clean this off. I'm gonna go around and fill the space. And it doesn't mean I'm gonna use all the flowers on the table that you see. I'm just kind of showing where direction I'm going into. Then, I'm gonna take these plants and I'm gonna cut them at the bottom lip of it. So this is like one whole stem. I'm gonna see if I can kind of dissect it like this. I want them as long as I can get them so they can go into the water and I'm gonna go back in right here around the parameter of the vase. Look how gorgeous they're coming together. See that? Now I'm gonna do one more thing to emphasize all those blue colors. I'm gonna take these berries, probably take one big stem like this. Okay, you see how they're a little, there's a gray tone to it? I'm gonna take a leaf shine and I'm going to spray this off like this. 
and it has more of a black pearl kind of an effect to it, and it actually makes the color pop out. And you can find this in your garden or your floral supply place. I'm gonna strip off the green, and then I'm gonna tuck them in. The reason I'm using this, I wanna emphasize the blues, so there's like a, uh, like a depth into the arrangement. And I'm gonna tuck it in right here. Now, do I need anything else? I can keep on layering it if I want to. Um, I can add more flowers to it. The more flowers you add to it, the more complex it gets, uh, the more detail it gets. If you want to simplify it, keep it at one flower. You can do all hyacinths, you can do all of the uh, blue hydrangeas. So whatever is available to you. So don't always be, uh, you know, I don't have that and I can't do that. It's just here is to give you some ideas and I want you to be your own creative self. So we're finished with this arrangement and I'm gonna show, <laughs> if this ever gets off the table, I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna bring the ceramic container. This is already pre-soaked Oasis foam, or floral foam, I should say. And I'm going to cut this like in half. And you know when it's all completely done, when there's no like darker, like a, like a gray spot, it's all one color. And I'm gonna kind of press this in now, I'm not going to do anything tall in this arrangement, so I don't need to tape it, but if you feel comfortable that you need to tape this up, you can certainly do so, like right across. It's not necessary. I can always add more water. Just kind of... Now, you could add your floral preservative to the water already when you're doing that. Now, what I'm going to take is... I'm going to take my thiso. And you see how there's little nuggets of it all over? There's multiple stems. I'm gonna cut them up. I like to get my money's worth and then insert it like this. Do it here too. So it's almost like a triangle right now. I'm gonna put one right here. Like this. And then I'm gonna take my dyed roses I'm going to strip them off. Now, I could reflex them or I could just leave them alone. And reflexing is, is quite a process. Um, it's easy to reflex roses when they are at room temperature because they won't break. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my thumb and pressing it into the back of the petal and just reflexing it. And I have to do all of it, just enough like this. I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to insert it like so. I'm going to do that maybe probably about eight roses because there are not a lot of flowers that are in blue color na naturally. It's okay to use other materials to get the color that you want whether it's your accessories or your container. And see I'm going in the parameter just so I can feel the, the foam and it's covered up. And when you see, they're a little bit more intense um, when they're closed. When they open up, you see a little bit more variation in the blue. And that's because it's dyed. The stem is dyed from below. So there's an uptake. And there's also roses that they, they spray. This happens to be a white rose so that the concentration of color when they're putting the blue dye doesn't get distorted to be another color. If you guys are tuning in for the first time, I thank you guys so much. Uh, it's really fun to do these episodes and show you the creativity and kind of open up your mind to color and texture and possible ways of using uh, different flowers. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. All my social links are on uh, the screen and make sure you subscribe and put your notifications on and make comments, share the videos. The more love you give me, the more I'm going to do these videos. The less love you give me, the less of the videos I'm going to do. And you see I've already given you a shape and now I'm going to go fill it inside. Now anything that doesn't fill with roses, I'm going to go back and I'm going to use my blue thistle. So excited. There's so many new things that we're working on. If there's 
any videos that you want to see, I would love for you to make a comment and tell me what you're looking to see me do. Um, you know, c coming up with concepts is easy sometimes and sometimes it's not. There we go. You see how clean this looks and full? Here, tuck a little bit of the arrangements in. Look at this. This is a little high. Tuck it in a little slightly inside. So you've got kind of a domey round effect to it. Look how gorgeous this is. Simple blue arrangement that fits the color the Pantone of the year that you can do at your home, events, as a hostess gift. There's so many options that you can do. Um, you know, even for a baby boy, if you want to send this arrangement, this is amazing. Voila. See how gorgeous these blue arrangements are. Blue is not one of my favorite colors. What is yours? Let me know on the comments. If blue isn't, I want to know what your favorite color is.